today's lesson is going to be how to make a flower on the nifty knitted loom. They come in various different sizes, but I'd recommend using the smaller one to make your flower. You can control the fullness of the flower depending on how many times we wrap our yarn. This one was wrapped two rotations and this one had three on, the, on here. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and don't forget to post a video response if you guys make some. Materials we're going to need is a pair of scissors, a needle that we need to thread our yarn with, a really small flower loom. This is about 15 centimetres across. This is the smallest one I have. But I think they do come smaller though. And some scrap yarn. So what we need to do is tie the yarn onto the side peg of our loom and then putting our yarn between the two pegs that's directly below the side peg there. And then coming down to the bottom and you want to pick the peg that is directly across from the peg that's next to where we've put our yarn there. So the one that's on the left hand side where the yarn goes between, directly across from that. So just putting your finger on there, just to double check, we want to count around to make sure we've got the same amount on each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then skipping that one because that's where our wall comes from. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And what this will do, it will make it even when we do our petals. So now bringing our yarn around this bottom peg, just going around to the left hand side, I've just gone around there, and then going up to the peg to the right hand side of the yarn that's up there. We're going to the left hand side of the peg, up and over and then we're coming down to the peg that is on the left hand side of the peg down the bottom but we always want to come to the side of the peg that is closest to the previous one we just did so for instance this one's on the right so we want to go to the right hand side of the peg up and around with our yarn and then up and we want to go on to the one that's on the right hand side of this peg. So we're going to go to the side closest to the one we just did before. So that's the left hand side of the peg and around. Coming to the side that is closest to the one we did before, so that's the right hand side, wrapping it around. And now we want to go up to the one that's up here. So can you see a pattern forming? We're going to the closest side to the one we did before, so that's the left hand side of the peg, wrapping it around like so. And then we're coming down the bottom here to this one on this side and we're going on to the side closest to the one we did before, going around and then up to the one up here, going on the side closest to the peg that we did before just wrapping it around, coming down to the side closest to the one we did before, that's around onto the left hand side of the peg, wrapping it around, and we're going up to the top one here, move over a bit, there we go, onto the side closest to the one we did before, and then wrapping it around, and then down to the bottom, closest to the side we did before. What we want to do is just continue this all the way around. And what this creates is the petals that are going to be on our flower. Sorry about the awkward angle here, but 
I'm hoping that you guys can see it properly. And the camera's actually up on top of the fridge. So it's a bit hard for me to see the the, um, the viewing panel to make sure I'm not going out of the view for you guys. So there we go. And what we want to do is just keep going around. So this peg's empty down here, but that's actually where we've tied it onto our side peg. Um, so we've basically done that one because that one's already got the loop down on here. So it looks empty, but it's not actually because it's down here. So what you want to do is press down all your pedals, just pushing them down. So that now they are, you know, basically out of the way, so we can do another round. So what we are going to do, go down again, down to the bottom here, opposite peg to where we're starting, or where we've got the last one up here, and then wrapping in exactly the same way, going like we did before. And you'll be able to see what one you've done because it will have two loops on here. So I've just about finished that one. So you see how there's no loop, second loop on here, so we know we've got to do those ones. We're just working our way around. 